Hello and welcome to Minecraft Safe Tech Ages. This is my first series on YouTube. Um, guys, I really enjoy this uh, mod pack and uh, hopefully you will enjoy it with me. So let's get started. We got a very lucky spawn uh, next to a village. I saw some cows, which are going to be very useful. So, in Minecraft Seftech Ages mod pack, you start off as a caveman. You basically know nothing. This is all I know how to make right now. And uh, you start off as a caveman and you progress further into the ages. You begin with the Tutorial Age, moving on to the Stone Age, and basically they are considered Age Zero. So let's begin, guys. I'm going to gather some plant fiber. Uh, which you gather from breaking grass, as you can see. Then I'm getting some sticks from the trees, but uh, not from the actual chunk, uh, trunk, but you get them from the leaves. And you combine those, the plant fibers to make plant twine. Then you use two of those and two sticks to make a mesh. And uh, the next thing we need to find is some gravel. So hopefully we can find some water. Oh, by the way, any any carrots, potatoes, I suggest you gather them. You're going to need them. Guys, to be honest, this is one hell of a lucky spawn. Sugarcane, cows, a village. And a cartographer. All that I will explain later why it's lucky pigs. Oh my god, guys, this is the luckiest spawn ever. And gravel, just a few met meters away. So let's do it. Uh, oh, you see, uh, because we're we're a caveman, uh, you drop all the items that you don't know about yet. Like sugarcane. We don't know what, what it is, what it's used for. Or we're just a caveman. All we want is get some meat, eat, and beat our meat. Just kidding. Uh, and uh, make a cave. <laughs> so, you gather some gravel and you use the mesh to make some flint. Very easy, very easy. And then you need to find some sturdy surface like a rock or a diorite. Again, we're lucky, guys. I'll explain why you can use the diorite for making um, the grill later on, like soon enough. I'll, I'll show you guys. Anyways, so find the sturdy surface. It must be a stone or any kind of stone. This, I, I believe diorite is a stone. And you just left click on it with the flint in your hand and you get, and you break the flint into smaller pieces uh, called flaked flint. So I'll just do it all. I think this will be enough for the whole gameplay, but we'll see. And you use one flint, one stick, and one twine. Uh, or a fiber. No, it's twine. Like this, yeah. To make a hatchet. This is our first axe. Then we need to cut some trees. Actually, now, sorry, we can cut trees. Before, if you would cut them with your hand, as you would do in vanilla, you would get nothing. So, you get some wood. Uh, my grandpa used to say, before he died, that some wood is better than no wood. So, 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 so. By the way, there's a mod that gives you a lot of flowers. I don't really like it, but what can I do? So, uh, the wood you get 
you can craft a chopping block. The chopping block is the way you get planks for the time being. And then we'll make two of those because we'll use one to make our first crafting bench, which is actually not called a crafting bench, but a work stump. Uh, and we're, uh, we basically advanced from tutorial age. We did all this. Uh, from tutorial age to stage zero, but we haven't unlocked anything new. This is all we had from the beginning. So, with the, uh, sorry, not the crafting bench, with the work stamp we just made, we can uh, craft our first pickaxe. And you go like this, and plant twine, and you use your crafting rock, you right click it on the work stamp to make your recipes. I really enjoy this mechanic by the way, it's something different and I like it. So straight away we're not going to waste any time, uh, we will find some stone. We will find some stone because as soon as we get stone we'll get rid of our flint tools and make stone tools so three for the pickaxe three for the axe and three for the sword and shovel this should be enough let's get some wood uh wood i'll make it into sticks and i'll show you how i'll also show you the chopping block which we made earlier so um, that's, you place it down then uh, right click on it with the wood and uh, left click with your axe and this is how you basically chop the wood into planks if you want more sticks you can chop the planks let's make our stone tools so now you can make your basically your standard stone tools uh, pickaxe axe shovel and sword and if you're wondering how i scroll through the items so fast i'm using the number keys um, Nobody ever told me, I discovered by myself, and uh, I considered it quite useful. Anyways guys, so we have our stone tools. Um, I'm going to delete the flint tools. You can shift click and just drop them here. Because we don't need them anymore. Uh, that's another lucky thing we got here. Uh, we can use this later on to make a um, sleeping bag, I believe. I'm not sure what that is. What is this? Dried mud cobble. I believe that's, uh, uh, that has no use. Anyways, we have too much of it already. Let's see this guy. Se and we're lucky again. We got another cartographer. We'll keep him safe. Because we don't want him to become a zombie. So, so, can you move, please? Why are you not moving? Is that because of this thing? Maybe. Maybe. Please move into the corner. Yeah, like this. So. So, so, so. We'll keep him safe for now. Uh, I think it was seven feathers and eight ink sack or the other way ar around. Uh, we're going to check the other cartographer we saw in the beginning. There he is to see if he offers the trade cheaper. If he does, we're, we'll forget about the other guy and use this one. What these guys do, they provide you your first map. The antique atlas map and uh, you'll see later when I unlock it how it's how it works 
Ooh, that's much better, guys. So let's keep this guy safe from zombies. There you go. And uh, we need to somehow mark that he is here. Hello, pig. Um, so, 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 guys. I I am looking I'm also looking for a leather worker or another villager because we also need the farmer. This will allow us to farm to get farmland. So to get the first the very first um farm plot you actually need a farmer to unlock the farmland. Usually uh, you give him uh, eight bone meal and you get the farmland. Then you can make it. But so far, I, I don't see farmer, which is unlucky, but uh, it's okay. Vill villages, oh, let's kill the ship. Villages, not villagers. I think I see a level worker, guys. Is that, no, oh, no, that's a butcher and a shepherd. Is that, no, that's not. Hmm. That's okay, guys. We'll look for a leather worker and a farmer in another village. Um, but night is upon us and we have a horse. I wish I could note down all the locations, but... Anyways, guys. A very lucky spawn, I must say. A very lucky spawn. Um, sometimes I didn't get a farmer. Sometimes I didn't get a leather worker. And, um, yeah, we checked that guy, I'm sorry. So, it's night time. Did we check this guy? Maybe he's a farmer. He is, we need to... Oh, come on now, give me a farmer, please. Okay. Uh, no more villager checking. We need to dig ourselves a cave, because we are in danger. So... Let's see what we can do while in the cave. Basically, we need to make the kiln and the grill. So it would be nice to get some clay before we go into our cave. Let's see. Can I find some clay? Only sand and gravel, which is useful as well, but uh, not what we need right now. Um, some clay would be nice, and then we can uh, we can go into a we can dig a cave. Ooh, that's a lot of gravel, guys, and some sand, which is, as I said before, quite nice. Ooh. No, no, no. But not what we need right now. Hey, please. Guys, is that the legs of a farmer? Oh my god, guys. We found the farmer, guys. Hello. I, I, I'll try to block him off. I don't think any zombies will come, but... Uh, better be safe than sorry. So, we're uh, two out of three lucky with the village. The third thing would be nice to have in a village is a leather worker, guys. If you happen to find one, he will save you a lot of time when you're trying to get your first leather. But uh, it's okay. Sometimes in life you need to be happy with what you have. And uh, I'm actually very happy because, because I should be. I got... Uh, yeah, I spawned in a very nice location. And we got two out of the three needed villagers. 
Not needed, but it's nice to have them. You can still play without the villagers. Anyways, guys, uh, I'm sorry, I'm looking for clay, but I cannot find it. And my mind just goes uh, from place, from thoughts to thought. Um, you can gather those bushes up. They they provide you an, uh, not a decent source of food, but you can just place them at your cave or, or at your house. And sometimes they will grow and give you some berries. But uh, the best thing you have, you need to do, is uh, get those, those carrots and potatoes, and then some pork or some beef. And I'll show you why later. Um, I wouldn't like to eat the carrots. I would like to keep all the carrots. So let's see what else I can eat. Uh, clay, 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 guys. Let's get the berries too. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm looking for clay, but pigs. We need the pigs too. They will be our starting source of food together with some cows. And uh, we're very lucky to have the cows and the pigs next to us. Ooh, is that... Oh my god, guys, I haven't been gathering all this stuff. I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid. Anyways. Don't you worry, guys, I'll get some... ...meat later. Okay. Sheep right there, that's nice. Uh, clay, is there any clay? Is there any clay? No clay. Clay? Hello? Oh my god, I got... I almost pooped my pants. Where did that spider come from? <laughs> like a spider-man. Okay, guy, chill. I'm almost dead. Well, not almost, but... What else can I eat? Nothing, I have nothing. Okay, let's get the clay, guys. Clay, 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 please. Give that salt will also need salt. I can see some clay. Finally. By the way, guys, there's sharks in the water, so be careful. Be careful when you swim in open waters. If a shark comes to me, and I don't see it, and it hits me, I'm dead. I'm dead, guys. But... We're positive, right? No sharks in our waters. Okay, let's get some clay. I don't want to die, so swim up. Let's get a stack. And... Come on. Come on. Please, 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 please. No, I don't want to die. Swim up, swim up, swim up. Oh my god, that was lucky. Also, you get piranhas or piranhas, whichever way you want to pronounce them. You know, the fish that bites you. Okay, guys, I'm eating some cars. I didn't want to eat them, but I'm almost dead. So, I believe we have mm, rotten flesh. I should actually get it. Beetroot seeds, we don't need them. So, 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 guys. Oh my god. Oh, please run. I was playing some Apex Legends and uh, I pressed uh, the wrong button to sprint. Okay, guys. Um, I believe night is almost down, but... Uh, so there is no, no point of making a cave. Oh my god, I don't want to die. Please, please, those bushes, man, those rush stems. Oh, the pigs, I thought... <laughs> I, I, I thought the pigs want to kill me too. But I'm just holding the carrot and they just want to eat. Oh my god, how many spiders is there? Please, leave me alone. Okay, guys, we're going to survive. We're going to survive. Where's the village? There's the village. We are, Don't forget, we are a caveman, so... We don't really know what the house is yet. I will be build a house, but in the next age. Right now I'm a caveman. Maybe in this age, but you know, 
once I have progressed progressed uh, around this point, this is like the half age where uh, I'm not longer a caveman, but um, a semi-smart man. I'm I'm not sure. Ooh, I'd like to use the house, but we are a caveman. We must dig a cave. We must dig a cave. Let's see. Let's see. And uh, yeah, I think we're actually safe, and there's no need to dig a cave. Seeds, I can get some later. Let's get some beetroot. Beetroot to eat. He's telling me that's a level worker. No, that's a butcher. We would be very lucky, guys. Can you imagine that they all swim off and I find a village without villagers? Well, that would be lucky. Okay, guys. So, no cave. No cave. But uh, I don't think we're going to make it. Ooh, squids, guys. Oh my god, I need them too. I need them too. And also, I need chicken. <clears throat> so, plant fiber. Make it into twine. Delete the plant fiber. Go for the squid. We need like nine. I believe we need nine. I think it was four feathers and nine uh, insects the guy wanted. We'll get ten. 10 insects and uh, we should be okay. And then we need to find chicken. Chicken! So... I wanted the cave to be higher. Maybe there, but I'm far away from the village. Yeah... I don't like the cave being here, you know? Like, the entrance is on the water. I like this jump, though. Um, so, okay. Where do I build a cave? Do you guys see any good spot? Hello, cow. Hello, cow. Ah, uh, you know what, guys? We're just uh, going to use our hole. The hole that we dug for stone. Yep, that's it. That's the one. That's our cave. So. So, so, so. Let's dig a small area. And we need a chest. This is our crafting bench. Chest. So how do I make a chest? Okay. We need some planks. Smash those logs into planks. I'll build... Actually, guys... I don't want a chest. I don't really like the chest. I'll just uh, make one for you. You can make rock like that. I'll make one for you to see how it works. And, and of course, for the progression. Yeah. So this is the chest. And uh, you just go like this. You place the items... Like a soul, like a soul. Okay, it's not organization time, but what I prefer to the chest is this thing. Check this out, guys. I'll, I'll make two right away. I mean, do we need 14? So, 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 so. We need some planks, we need some rock, and our crafting rock. You go like this. And a rock, planks, and a rock on top, on top middle, 
smash that thing and you get a shell why do i prefer those things because because sorry 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 just give me one more second because um, when you come up to the chest you need to come all the way here to look for the item you need and also this is three by four which gives you 14 14 items 12 yeah 12 but the shelves look like this check this out guys and uh, you see everything i don't know it's just easier to access and it's also four by four which um which is for more than the chest which is always good so what we need next we need the kiln the kiln the kiln how do i build that yeah that's right like this or not cobblestone actually i don't remember guys so kiln. yeah i knew it we need a slab and we'll make all three slab just like the normal minecraft vanilla minecraft and then you go like this smash that you get an unfired kill unfired kill to make all three and uh be careful when you when you smash the fire fired kill you get a brick back so yeah if you place it the fire the fired kill why is it so hard for me to say fired when you get when you place the fired kill then you can only get a brick back so be careful where you place it where's my oh thank you sorry guys i'm looking for my oak wood so then we need to make this stick the whittled fire sticks uh if you make your first one it will give you a second one you put the first one in your off hand and your second in your other hand hold on a sec place the kiln here here actually do i want it here yeah here is okay um and yeah you you equip your uh, fire sticks and hit right click you need both yeah off hand main hand right click on a block and that's going to fire your kill and the first thing you want to do is place some wood some wood not planks wood into the kill which will make oh my god which will make some uh low quality charcoal i believe it's called let's see let's see i also need some more fire sticks for the next kill come on come on yeah nice what is it called low grade charcoal so what that does is it never burns out so basically that's an infinite source of fire guys and you want to do that as soon as possible and i'm going to make one more actually later on we'll make three more because i'm also going to make three hot grills to make my food processing faster very nice we're progressing fast I can also make the camp the fire pit for the uh, next progression and I believe you need some sticks I'm out of sticks and I'm out of planks let's make some sticks so three rock three sticks and a plant twine smash that bad boy and you get a fire pit um actually guys i didn't find it 
quite useful you can just hang some meat and uh, cook it but i don't think it's worth it guys to be honest so third low grade charcoal get some fire sticks get some fire put your third kill uh damn i'll need some wood guys let's get some wood actually i think we can use olive wood uh, i don't really like olive wood uh, this this is the olive wood um it does drop some olives which make you dizzy if you eat a lot uh, but yes yeah, sometimes uh, you cannot use the olive wood for a few things uh quite impressive that the wood is actually burning wow that's quite a long time i'm not sure why it's burning so much but anyways it will be consumed at one point so we'll just swap it with a low grade charcoal and and make it into charcoal so 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 yeah i needed some some planks and then i needed some sticks to make those into our fire sticks so 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 marble by the way will be used later on so you could gather some if you find it but uh, you can i'll delete this guys we don't need it and also place our bushes and it's night time uh, oh, maybe you can only put them on uh, grass it's uh, already night time guys so into the cave we go uh, and I believe this will be okay we could make some uh, some torches or one torch all right here this is an unlit torch i did not show you guys hold on a sec i'll show you show you so stick and a plant twine unlit fiber torch to light it up i think we just need one fire stick i could be wrong no one fire stick is okay and i think they do run out but i'm not sure anyways back to our setup what i want next is some is some uh, uh stone grills yeah next thing is sorry hot grills yeah stone grills which will make our food so this is why i gathered seven oh, we'll get it. i think i used it to fill it up or something nine diorite why because you can use it to make the stone grills and i believe the next thing you need is some rocks so let's test this out yep diorite or stone cooked stone not cobblestone or uh what's it called the other right uh you know the gray one i forgot how you call it oh there it is and this side granite can be used as well so get our third grill get a three charcoal and we will also need three sets of sticks that's one uh, get some planks not here here get some planks sorry sticks <laughs> not enough guys i'm bad at maths not enough where is my plank? There it is. Get some more sticks. Final set. And dig some space for the grills. Uh, 
later on we will automate them i don't believe we can yet maybe we can but i don't have enough time to check so because you guys have been watching me for a long time and i'm sure you are bored already light up the charcoal put the grills in hide hide the fire so you don't get burned and we need we need where's our carrots carrots potatoes potatoes the grill accepts up to 16 items carrots potatoes and some pork chop or some beef i didn't get beef this is sheep this is sheep so pot baked potatoes baked carrots and a pork chop Com combine those three and you get a nice pork dinner guys pork dinner on the house yes oh that's so tasty so tasty guys so why is this good because as you can see at the bottom it gives you the following nutrition protein and vegetables 3.4 percent why is this good because this mode pack has a system a nutrition system which gives you more hearts if you get it up to 90 plus percent so this way this way you get some very good early food actually last time i used it in my last uh gameplay where i played without you i used it until industrial age i never changed food so so yeah that's just some tip some fast tip on how to get good food at the beginning you should be fine for quite a long time okay so this will get our protein and vegetable up to a hundred ideally we we must find the fruit and the grain foods and uh, soon you will see our hearts going up to the next level so instead of red they will be extra hearts which are orange which is quite useful guys and girls believe me you will need them by the way let's change the setting to hard because i forgot to, to do so please forgive me please forgive me okay guys and girls oh my god i'm so sorry i'm so sorry you know because when i talk to my friends girls or boys i refer to them as guys i don't know it's just a bro thing okay so next thing we could uh, progress this way did i throw all my flint i think i did not um let's make the work blade because we need it to progress through the quests which are optional by the way you don't need all this to progress you only need this line you see that with the highlighted gray background this is the main quest line everything else is a side quest to progress into the next stage you just need to complete this but if you do all these quests you will have a ton of fun so i highly suggest you do them and also you get used to the mod pack this is why it's called tutorial age anyways guys back to the thing this is not how you make it i remembered this is how you make it two sticks four flint and a plant twine 
hit that ba bad boy with the crafting rock and get your clean uh, work blade. <laughs> what this does, there is a ton of uses. I'm not going to show you all of them, but the first thing you can do is get some pelts and transform them into raw hide. Uh, rawhide is used uh, to make leather. Uh, the leather procedure is uh, very tedious and can only be done one by one. Of course, I'll show you the procedure, but I think I want to get some chicken first. Sorry, <laughs> some feather. Maybe I'm hungry. Uh, some feather, feathers, and some more insect to get them our first map uh, let's see if you get some bones which you get from uh, animals and zombies uh, you can make those shears which are useful to get feathers from chicken basically uh, you shear the chicken and you get like four feathers instead of one hello creeper and guys, uh, the video is too long. I'm not doing any cuts, but I hope you enjoy the full content. And I hope you'll be back for more. So, chickens. Chickens, chickens, chickens. And uh, also some squid would be nice. Where's my sword? we get some chicken can we get some chicken pig where's the chicken tell me or I'll kill you just kidding I'll kill you anyways because I'm hungry I'm always hungry and I love food guys what is your favorite kind of food mine is always changing I love all kind of food Maybe a, a good steak is nice. Not maybe, for me it's definitely nice. But maybe that's my favorite food. Yeah, a good steak, a juicy steak. Sorry for all the vegetarian and uh, vegans out there. But uh, everybody has the right to choose, right? I understand why you do this, guys. But... I cannot say no to meat. And I, I'm not an over-consumer. I, I keep a balanced life. And uh, I think that's the key to life. Keep it balanced. Keep it balanced. Oh, hello, wolves. Those guys, if you smash one, I'll show you right now. If you smash one, the iris come around so be careful if you see them and smash one because most likely the whole pack will jump on you uh, is that all we got yeah so those wolves drop wolf pets and wolf heads which are used to make some nice starting armor so if you see them, don't be scared. You can just smash them. Oh my god, what's going on there? That's a wolf pack. And a crazy bear. What is it doing, guys? Anyways. So, ooh. Another village, guys. See, that's why I told you you don't need to be worried about getting a bad village. Because it seems that this mod pack offers them like every so often. Let's see, guys. We're still looking for chicken and squid. But we only have one minute left. So. Let's see what this village has to offer. 
before we end the episode. Episode 1. Shepherd, which is actually very good because you only get four string if you if you craft the white fleece with the work plate. So let's keep this guy alive by blocking him off from zombies. Thank you, my guy. This guy, see, this guy is bad. Two fleece make eight. So you're still. You're going down, guy. Or girl. I don't know. Eat. So, uh, where did the other guy go? Oh, uh, sorry, I'm always using guy. Fisherman. Fletcher. Fisherman. See? This village wasn't that lucky, guys and girls. So, I don't want to end on a sad note. So, this village was one out of three. It has a cartography. So, guys, uh, I don't want to end on a negative note. Um, so, we'll just look at some flowers. Oh my god, there's so many pigs. Guess what I'm gonna do off cam? Just kidding. I'll be back here tomorrow, guys. Is that a horse? Yeah, that's a horse. I thought that's a llama. But that's a horse. So, it's been a long time. I hope you enjoyed the first episode. And I hope you'll be back for more tomorrow. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good day, evening, night, wherever you are. Have a good one and I'll see you all tomorrow.